T-Mobile began its Uncarrier initiative last year by dropping contracts and data limits and cementing itself as the bad boy of wireless carriers. CEO John Ledger also helped with that. Last night, the company continued that tradition. These high and mighty duopolists that are raping you for every penny you have, if they could do something nice for you, they would. The fuckers hate you. These days, T-Mobile is trying every possible way to get customers to try out its service. The latest attempt is called Test Drive, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Anyone can now go into a T-Mobile store and walk out with an iPhone 5S that runs on T-Mobile's network and comes with the company's unlimited plan, free of charge. At the end of the week, people bring the phone back and either sign up for the plan or return it with what T-Mobile says are no strings attached. And who is providing all these iPhones to Test Drive? Apple. According to Ledger, Apple is giving the iPhones to T-Mobile for free in support of the program. But Ledger's on carrier announcements didn't stop there. Thanks to a new partnership between the phone carrier and streaming music service Rhapsody, T-Mobile customers will now have free access to internet radio starting June 22nd, albeit only customers that pay $80 or more a month get it for free. The rest of its customers will still be able to get access to it for $4 per month, and even non-T-Mobile customers can sign up for $4.99 a month. It's a clear attempt to take on services like Pandora, which claims to have 77 million active users as of last month. Unradio differs, though, by offering unlimited song skips, offline options, and no ads. It may not compare to companies like Spotify and Ardio, which offer the ability to listen to full albums consecutively or organize a library of music, but Unradio is really just a value add, giving prospective customers another reason to sign up with T-Mobile. The company also announced a new initiative called Music Freedom, which rids customers of data caps when using a select group of music streaming services. These include the aforementioned Rhapsody, Pandora, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes Radio, Slacker, Samsung's Milk, and the forthcoming streaming service from electronic music destination Beatport. It'll also be taking votes from customers through its website and on Twitter for other services to add to the list of exemptions. While this may all sound wonderful and right in line with T-Mobile's uncarrier image, it's not a good look for net neutrality because T-Mobile is essentially deciding which companies deserve free data and which ones don't. You, who, you know. Hi, uh, Theater Bone with The Verge. Um, so the, uh, the, mobile, the, the music freedom thing is pretty interesting, but uh, from a net neutrality perspective, I think it's problematic to treat a certain kind of data differently than other data just because it's music. And I'm wondering if you guys thought through those issues and if, as a, as a you know, data-first kind of company, if, if you think that's a problem. So you actually think that somebody would have a net neutrality problem with you giving it to them for free? I think, I think you kind of got yeah. it. I think it's... Yeah. I... I, I, I don't agree, especially since, you know, if you have a different service that you want and it's being used, we will put it. It's a technical inclusion in the process. It takes a short period of time to get the appropriate site, get the URL, figure out how to whitelist it and get it on the network. So it's more so than that. Our idea is to give free streaming of music to everybody. And I, I, don't, I don't foresee the uncarrier's issues and what we're doing with the industry being other than something that the proponents of net neutrality would really be supportive of. Whether that's true or not, what's to stop T-Mobile from withholding music freedom from services that aren't in John Ledger's good graces?